Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm so excited about today's video because what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to use the Save the Cat 15 Beats outline sheet to outline my novel using the index cards. And the reason I'm doing this is because as you guys know, I have been struggling with my Christmas novel, but now I have it all figured out. But what I really want to do is I want to see it laid out so that I can have like a bird's eye view of how everything is going to play out. And what I've done so far is I printed out my outline. I got some new index cards. I got a Sharpie and I've got the book. I also have some highlighters in case I need it. But what I'm going to first do is give myself a little refresher because it's been a long time since I reviewed the book. So I'm just going to skim skim the book one once again just the beats just so that i can be reminded of how many cards i need per scene and i'll explain more on the b-roll as i am doing the uh as you guys are watching me do it i'll explain a little more of what i'm talking about because so it's not just enough to say opening image i need to know how many scenes i need to create for the opening image the same for the setup, the debate, the catalyst, and so on and so forth. If you have not seen my Save the Cat Writes a Novel playlist where I go um, over every single beat, I will have the playlist linked below because I know that it's Preptober and I know that we're all getting ready to write our novel in 30 days for NaNoWriMo in November, but I know that you guys are all getting ready. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this right now because I know that you guys are all getting ready. So. Let's stop the talking and let's get ready to use the index cards to outline my novel so that I can get a bird's eye view of what I'm working with. Okay guys, so like I said, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to find all the places where the book states if it's a one scene, you know, a single scene or a multi-scene beat because I want to make sure that I have the right setup. So what I did is every time I saw it in the book, I highlighted it in purple. That way it's easy for me to see in the future, but I did write it in my book companion journal. So I think in the future, if I ever have to go back, I can just refer back to this particular book and see what scenes they are. So the very first one is the opening image, and that is a single scene beat. I'm also writing where it goes. For example, the opening image is a single scene beat and it goes in the 1% of the book, meaning the first few pages of the book. Next, I went on to do the theme stated. This is also a single scene beat and it goes at 5% of the novel. Next, I did the setup, and that is a multi-scene beat, and that goes between one and 10% of the novel. Next, I did the catalyst, and the catalyst is also a single scene beat, and that goes 10% and above. Next is beat number five, the debate, and that was a multi-scene beat, and that goes between 10 and 20% of your novel. Then we enter into act two, the break into two. It's a multi-scene beat, and that goes at 20% of your novel. Next, we did the B story, which is beat um, number seven, and that is a single scene beat. Then we did the fun and games multi-scene beat, and that goes between 20 and 50% of your novel. Then we go to beat number nine, which is, I think it's a single scene, scene beat. I couldn't find that one, but I'm sure it's a single scene beat. And that goes, it's the midpoint, so it goes 50% at 50% of your novel. Then we did beat number 10, which is bad guys close in. That is a multi-scene beat, and it goes between 50 and 75% of your novel. Next is beat 11, All is Lost. It's a single scene beat and it goes at 75% of your novel. Then we went ahead and did the Dark Night of the Soul, which is beat number 12. It is a multi-scene beat and it goes between 75 and 80% of your novel. Then we go into act three, which is break into three. It's a single scene beat and it goes to about 80% of your novel. 
Then we did beat number 14, which is the finale, which is a multi-scene beat between 80% and 90% of your novel. And then finally, we move into beat 15, which is the final image. This is a single scene beat, and it goes between 99 and 100% of your novel. What I'm doing now is just taking these yellow cards and writing down all the beats in the cards so that I can lay it out on my table and then put the cards underneath each beat that represent how many scenes I'm going to need. Now, what I want to explain about this particular thing is that this book I'm writing is also in two points of view. So I have a female point of view and a male point of view. So when you see that I put two cards like this, I put a pink and a blue card because I want to have an opening image for not only my female character, but also my male character. And the same goes for the theme. I want to have a theme for him and I want to have a theme for her. Now for the setup, as you can see here, I have three cards because it's a multi-beat scene but I don't necessarily have to fill in all the cards. This is just for me to see at a bird's eye view how many scenes, like I could write all the scenes and maybe one or two cards for this particular um, beat, but I wanted just to have it laid out like this just so that I can see it's a multi-beat scene. As you can see, I ran out of room on my table, so I headed to the side of the table and then put the last three beats over to the side, but that worked out because I can still see it at a bird's eye view like you will see in a minute. So the next step in my process is to actually write down all the beats, everything that I've written so far based on my outline or based on the things that I know about the story that I have changed because I really just wanted to see it, like I said, at a bird's eye view. I know I keep saying that, but it's really nice to just see everything, how it's going to lay out, make sure that everything is happening accordingly. During this video, I did get stuck at the midpoint because that's as far as I had gotten in my outline and the rewrite. And I was really stuck and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing after this. But then later that evening, my daughter came by and we worked everything out and the story, I feel it's even stronger now. I'm even more clear on what I need to do. So I've worked out everything in the first act and the second act. And I told her it's okay because I've got the third act. There's only three beats and I love writing that part. So I didn't need her help on those three beats because I knew exactly what I was doing. But this is what really helped me. I answered a bunch of the questions that are in the book. And if you don't have the book, I highly recommend that you get it. But one of the things that really helped me was to answer the question at the start of the novel, what does your hero want? What is their goal? Now, when I ask myself this question, it has to be the wrong goal, right? You don't want to give her the right goal because then there's nothing to learn. There's no transformation that takes place. So you have to make sure that you give your character a goal that is not the right goal. So that will help you create 
all the scenarios that come lead up to the midpoint. So ask yourself that question. All right, guys, another thing that you should do after you ask yourself that question, make sure you get clear on the theme. What will actually fix your character's problem? And that is where you're going to be really honest. You're going to create a real problem and what the solution is and that will give you your theme so that is it for this video if you enjoyed it and you found value in it make sure that you give it a thumbs up because it really does help me out and make sure that you go by and watch the playlist i have an entire playlist on save the cat writes a novel beat sheet so if you have not watched that make sure you do so and i will see you in a brand new video next week until then god bless you